Uh, he doesn't speak. Uh, I don't. Uh, he. I know the night that he. I don't believe. I don't believe. <laughs>
These notes are well guarded. Why? So the legend goes. Good luck beating me! <laughs> <laughs> Find any trace that way? Nothing at all! Well, go right. on! Eyes open, it. sir! Nothing to report, sir. Ah! I want that field found! On it, sir. <gasps> any sign of them? Lost any sign? Ni what are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, 
or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. You must work for Drachmi, just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. Hippocrates puts healing patients before getting paid. And you expect a fortune? We can't all be Hippocrates. If you don't have the Drachmi, then stand back and let me heal my patient. There isn't enough time. I need you at Hippocrates' camp now. How's the patient, Hippocrates? I couldn't remember the proper steps for treatment and you were gone so long. Where am I? What's going on? My friend here, Cassandra, brought you to help me with a patient, Dimas. I went to see the priests first. I had to find out about my mother. A worthy pursuit, though it cost this man his life. The payment we should seek is the preservation of life. A good doctor puts the needs of his patients first. I have learned a lesson today. I will take some time and write down what I remember of your nose, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, I'm sorry the patient died, but I still need to know what happened to my mother. Come with me. We should talk. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me. 
and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I know something that may help you find her. I swore I would never tell anyone about Dolops and his past, but I owe this to your mother. Who's Dolops? He was a priest who dedicated his life to helping orphans. It's possible he remembers that night long ago. Maybe he would know something about your mother and her child. I'll go see this man. Thank you, Hippocrates. Cleo. Come on. Hippocrates mentioned, but he's hiding. Go away. Calm down. Hippocrates sent me. The great doctor is concerned for my health? Yes. And we need some information. Tell him... Someone tried to kill me. Kill you? He said you worked with orphans. That's why I'm here. That was long ago. Now I'm just a farmer. And I'm Amistheus. If I stop this killer, will you speak with me? I will. I'll find out who wants you dead. It was my neighbor or my landlord who attacked me. But you can't punish someone unless you know they're guilty. I'll be back when I figured it out. Then, we're talking about your past. <laughs> this armor is broken, but it was valuable. If it belonged to the attacker, he's either wealthy or very lucky. Did you see someone attack Dorops? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. This knife has seen better days. Like something a poor farmer would use. I'm looking for the person who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Cloth is fine enough for a king. Would do well as a mask, too. Mistios! You scared me! I know who did it. What do you think? 
Who tried to kill me? Your neighbor tried to kill you. I knew it. I'll take care of him. Good luck. He's on our cafe. I heard someone tried to kill your neighbor. Dollops, that mouse turd, <laughs> who'd give him trouble. People say it's you. He's a fool. I like to give him a hard time, but I wouldn't try to kill him. I know your type. You like roughing up people smaller than you. Time to pick on someone your own size. You seem to fit that description. <laughs> <laughs> By Hades. The killer must have been waiting for me to leave. I hope Dolops left some sign of his days as a priest, or this has all been for nothing. What's this? A letter? Chrysis. You cannot keep taking children to the altar of Apollo Maleatas. It is not the gods who condemn them, but you. I will take this to the authorities if you don't stop. Your son, Tolops. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. This is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. the altar of Apollo Maleatis. There's the statue of Apollo and the altar. 
Crisis. A warning. Must be getting close. All you cultists will die here. seems to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You take children from their mothers and silence anyone who gets in your way. If you're referring to me, then, it was he who chose to slice off his cursed tongue. I'm talking about the farmer you had killed in Epidavros. <laughs> I should have killed that idiot son of mine years ago. Your own son? Dolops turned his back on me the night I rescued your brother. He was too stupid to see the child's destiny was intertwined with my own. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth! The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. 
Angel gave the most strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. God bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis' reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaga. Who needs democracy when Thrakmi rules the world? Well, 
Voilà. Keep it together. Thank you. 
What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it? <laughs>